Is there a chance that raising interest rates to slow the economy and to try and kill off inflation is not working? In other words, that despite raising interest rates 12 times, inflation is still well above its target band. And in the US, where there have been 11 rate rises and inflation's fallen further than it has here, late this week there was a signal that the economy is picking up and not cooling down. That's not the economic playbook you'd expect. It's also caused rampaging stock markets to pause to at least absorb the fact that even higher interest rates might be needed to exorcise inflation from Western economies. It kind of depends on how patient our Reserve Bank and the community is to the duration of higher interest rates. If you want rates to fall rapidly, wish for an economic downturn or a recession. That will do it. But if you want to keep more people in jobs, more businesses from collapsing, follow the recipe of the outgoing RBA Governor Philip Lowe and allow interest rates to stay higher for longer and for inflation to glide lower over the next couple of years. Now, Lowe hopefully will expand upon this in his last public address as the RBA Governor to the Annika Foundation on September 10. Now, that judgment call will be among the first serious challenges the incoming Governor, Michelle Bullock, faces. That plus the composition of the Monetary Policy Committee and a cultural change in the way the result Reserve Bank and its board work. But the judgment call about when to stop raising rates and then when to start cutting rates, that's crucial to the long-term well-being of our economy and the number of people in jobs. This week's rates decision is likely to be on hold, but the bias will still be for higher rates in the future if inflation becomes more stubborn to dislodge than expected. And there are areas where it remains sticky. The services industry, insurance and rents, they're the standouts. But if, as in America, our economy starts to pick up again rather than slowing down as expected, then there's every chance that the rate rises we've seen will not abate quickly. The glide path could end up being beyond 2025. But the Reserve Bank, with a new but, but not old mantra to protect jobs, will have its work cut out.